The project was finally approved. The clients love the design, the 3D images, they look amazing. Now we just have to get those very basic floor plans, a couple of sections and the 3D image and give that to the builder. And that's it for construction, right? No, guys, no. Now it's time to move on to the final phase of a house design, which we call construction documentation. Hey guys, Aline here from Sources Design. And on this channel, we talk about architecture, interior design, construction, and home renovation. So if you think that interests you, please consider subscribing. This is the fourth and final video of our series called House Design for Dummies. And on this series, I walk you through the entire process of designing a house from beautiful Pinterest photos to a complete set of construction drawings. So if you haven't watched the other videos, they are all linked on the description below and on the YouTube card. So now let's just move on and talk about the last phase of the design construction documentation. So what is construction documentation? So as the name says, it is a set of construction drawings, details, 3D images, schedules that will give information to the builder on how to execute our project so we can get to a final design that it's exactly how we planned throughout the design process. As architects and designers, we should not just create beautiful designs. We should also provide solutions on how that should be built on site. If we don't provide those solutions, most likely the construction crew will do it on site without understanding the entire concept behind that design. I can't stress this enough. The construction crew is not supposed to spend their time on site creating solutions to build our design. That's not their job. So when does that happen? That should happen here in the designer's office before construction starts. Otherwise, you're gonna create a bunch of problems with construction delay, mistakes on site, and a different product that it's not exactly what was approved by the client. And I can tell you from experience that in the past I've had many issues on site because a project was not detailed enough. Now, what should be included in a set of construction drawings for a new build? The first thing is a detailed floor plan with dimensions and showing room sizes, door and window sizes and locations and a lot of notes. We should also include detailed building cross sections, which will show ceiling heights, thickness of floor system, construction assembly, heights of windows and doors, notes, and also dimensions. Elevation drawings should also be included, and that will give us information about window openings, exterior materials, building height, roof slope. We should also include electrical floor plan that will show us location and number of lights, switches, outlets, and how they are supposed to be interconnected. We will also need a foundation plan that gives us dimensions and information about foundation type, location, and conditions. A site plan should also be included and that will tell the construction crew where to locate the building within the site limits. And that's not all guys. For each of these drawings there will be a set of details for specific items that need to be addressed.
As you probably realize, there is an extensive list of drawings, details and schedules that we need to provide to the builder for construction. Now, you might be asking, why is this necessary? Well guys, a simple answer would be because the construction crew and the builder are not in our minds to know how far things should be, how big they should be, where they should be located, how those items should be installed for the best practical result for the client. In most cases, they haven't been part of the design at all. So if we don't provide that information to the construction crew, they will come up with a solution on their own on-site, which in most cases will result in a different project and product that was not approved or expected by the client. Now, I hope after this lengthy video about construction documentation, you understand how important it is construction drawings and details and all the documentation used on site. Our job as architects and designers goes beyond the 3D model. It goes beyond picking up interior or exterior finishes. It goes beyond creating a nice looking building. So when you are hiring a professional in design, make sure they understand the importance of construction drawings and details and make sure they can provide you and your builder with these set of drawings. This is the best way to avoid mistakes on site, to save you money, save you time, and make the renovation or the construction process smooth and enjoyable. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please hit the like button below, leave your comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.